Right now at 530, extreme conditions forcing extreme measures. Californians are facing some major life changes as the drought gets worse. Governor Gavin Newsom is asking everyone to cut 15 percent of their water use. But what does 15 percent actually look like? NBC 4's Gordon Tokamatsu shows us in our series Running Dry. 15% sounds like a lot, and it can be depending on how much water you use in the first place. So we did some quick calculations based on what you're likely using around the house. Here's what 15% looks like when you're talking about a small amount of water. This bucket holds exactly seven gallons of water. Take away 15% of that, and you lose about one gallon of water. But most of us use much more than six or seven gallons every day. Just your washing machine alone is going to use about 20 gallons. Even if it's Energy Star rated, it'll require about 14 gallons. Your dishwasher requires four to six gallons per load. The governor's office is asking you to reduce the number of laundry and dishwashing loads per week to start making that 15% dent in your usage. But what about the stuff that's happening outside your house? The average garden hose delivers about 17 gallons per minute. Cut off 15% and your lawn loses approximately two and a half gallons. Over time, that'll likely have an effect on how your yard looks. We have a house. Fresh yeah. trainer we met in West Hills. He says his backyard grass is already turning quite brown, but he's in the process of putting in drought-tolerant plants and a drip system. No more wasteful sprinklers. At the end of the day, you're actually saving money if you think about it. That's true, but in the months to come, residents who take part will have to examine how much they've already been conserving to make those calculations. Don't forget, here in Los Angeles and other parts of the region, there are already mandatory lawn watering restrictions in effect. So if you add another 15%, these brown patches are going to get a lot larger. For now, none of this is mandatory, but two years into what looks like a long, hot, dry spell could become so before you know it. As Parrish told us, if you want to prepare for what the future holds, people should be doing it anyway. Like the present. In Woodland Hills, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.